where to put the most efficient pulley in your pulley system. Let's get into it. Today I posted a story on Instagram with that same question. Where do you put the most efficient pulley in your pulley system? And a lot of people got it wrong, way more than what I would have expected. So that's why I'm putting in this video in between all the other videos. So we all, we all know the basic 3 to one or Z-Rig pulley system. We have our load, it goes up through a pulley, comes down, I get a rope clamp, another pulley, it goes up, but then we realize that pulling up is heavy and hard, so we add a change of direction, or CD, so that makes it easy, so I can pull downwards and put some weight in it. Talking about weight, in this video, I will put weight and force and kilograms and newtons, it's gonna go on one big pile, we're gonna mix it up, because it's way easier to explain it without getting lost in all the physics details of what is a force and what is a newton and what is a kilogram and what is a weight and we're not on the moon and on the earth or Jupiter or whatever. This is what happened. Today my level three in the Irata course I'm teaching right now, he was doing a pitch head rescue in a hanging hole. He was rigging all his stuff up and it looked like this. We had the dummy suspended and the dummy, it's not 100 kilos, but this weight for the example is 100 kilos. Let's put a ceiling in there. The rope was going up from the dummy into a descender, into a pulley on a rope clamp, like so. For now, we're going to get away from the descender and make it a protraction, a very efficient pulley. At this point in his rigging, he realized, I'm short one pulley. So, you know what, I have a carabiner left, it's, ju it's just a change of direction, so I put in a carabiner. Let me make that blue. Carabiner. Then he started hauling and it looked heavy because it is. Let's say I'm hauling and I'm putting in 100 kilos of force. <laughs> that 100 kilos travels up and meets the nice blue carabiner. Now you should know that a carabiner in a 100, with a rope going through in a 180 degree turn actually takes away half of what you put in. There is twice the amount of friction or however you want to call it. That means if I'm pulling like this with 100 kilos, I can barely lift up 50. If 100 kilos goes in, 50 comes out. Now that 50 travels through the system down to the next pulley and the pulley has a 10% loss or a 90% efficiency. And there's a lot of different pulleys out there, but you lose something. Maybe the pulley is old, maybe it's a small sheath. It might actually be worse than 90%. We're sticking with 90. So the 50 that comes in, 45 comes out. The 45 travels up to the system and meets the other pulley, that nice, Protraction, I lose 10% again, 40 comes out. I know, 45, 10%, it's not, you know where I'm going. That 40 travels back down, goes here. In this pulley rope clamp area, 40, 45 and 50 all come together to join for a grand total of 135 units of tension. Let's call it that, 100 go in, 135 go out. So my theoretical mechanical advantage translates to a 1.35 to 1 practical mechanical advantage. Not very good. It's almost a 1 to 1. Okay. Let's move that carabiner and see where we want our least efficient pulley to be. So I'm going to switch the original question around. I have my load, 100 kilos, it goes up through a pulley, down carabiner, up through a pulley, change of direction, pulling that direction. I have a pulley, I have a pulley, I have a rope clamp 
and I have a nice blue carabiner. I start pulling. Of course, I'm putting in 100 kilograms. It travels to the pulley, meets the pulley, loses 10%, 90 goes out, 90 travels down, meets the carabiner. How much do we lose? Half of it, so 45 goes out. It's a bit small, but you can follow along, I hope. 45 travels up to the top pulley. We lose another 10%, so 40 comes out, that 40 comes down. 40 plus 45 plus 90 is 175. So the practical mechanical advantage is 1.75 to 1. My 100 units of tension going in is 175 going out. Not even a 2 to 1, not even close. Well, let's move that carabiner further down the system. The ceiling continues, the load comes into play. We get our 100 kilos, the rope goes up through a carabiner, through a pulley, through a pulley, change of direction. Let's write it down, change of direction, change of direction, change of direction. Pulley. Pulley, rope clamp, connected, and this is our least efficient piece of gear, a carabiner. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel to always be notified of a new release. What happens? 100 kilos goes in, we already saw that 90 comes out, that 90 travels down. We meet a pulley, we lose 10%, so 80 comes out. Uh, 81, 80. Let's make our lives easy, okay? 80 travels up. We meet the carabiner, we lose half of it. 40. 40 travels back down. 40 plus 20, uh, sorry, 40 plus 80 plus 90 is 210. 2.1 to 1 practical mechanical advantage. This is all very interesting stuff because we call it a 3 to 1 in a perfect world. But when we start adding friction by taking away one pulley and exchanging that for a carabiner, then we need to start to think where do we put that carabiner? Or, the original question, where do we put the most efficient pulley? And the most efficient piece of gear goes as close to the input as possible. And if you think about it, I want to have my force, my input, travel as far through the system as possible and save it all the way till the end. So if you put the carabiner at the end of the system, which is up here right now because that's the last thing where there's a change of direction of the rope, then it will be the most efficient. I will make more videos on this and I will be using the line skill, uh, the LS3 from line grip to actually re-record all the data and show you what happens. Right now we're talking about a practical mechanical advantage. So theoretical, there's a frictionless world. Practical is where we start thinking about friction, but there's also something as the blue colors. The actual mechanical advantage, the AMA. And that's what we will see when we use the line skill to record it. I will use the X-Safe winches for a constant speed. And if you want to see that, and when it's already been released, you can right click here. Stay connected.